Hey guys, it's me again, the Metaverse Explorer. This is episode two of Grapes at Solana Alpha. This episode is a big one. We're gonna cover a few things. First off, we're gonna have a look at the TVL in Solana. We're gonna have a look at the Hedgehog No Loss Tutorial, PRT staking and how it accrues value. We're gonna look at the Orca pools and how much of a large APY you can get. Very dangerous, especially with yield farming. We're gonna look at the Marinade token airdrop. We're gonna look at the institutional clients that want to come into Solana through the Solrise decks and the Mercurial decks. We're gonna look at the whitelist for Waggle. And we're gonna end with some NFT volumes and look at what new NFTs uh, FTX are going to be listing. Hint, hint. All right, before we get started, I want you to do that right there for me. Okay, let's do it. Thanks a lot. Right, so we start with TVL in Solana at the moment, which is just approaching $8 billion. Um, Sabre is still dominating at 35%. Um, we have had Radium, uh, that is a close second. And if you notice, Sunny is all the way down at number eight now. It used to be right behind Sabre. Uh, that's because Sunny has just migrated its contracts to the second uh, uh, version of the Sabre vaults. So it's likely it's not being recognized at the moment. It's nice to see Parrot uh, having an increased TVL, 386 million with Marinade closely following. It's nice to see Tulip still up there and Orca still up there. There are no new contenders in the list that uh, we should be concerned about at the moment. Fabric is nice to see has now breached 2 million. They uh, were recently stuck around the 1 million mark but it's nice to see they're coming up now possibly due to their fab punks that uh, they're they'll be releasing very soon. All right the first tutorial we're going to look at is something I've tried myself which is the no loss competitions on Hedgehog. Now Hedgehog is uh, kind of stealth at the moment not many people use them. So what are no loss competitions? It, it, they give you an explanation here you state USDC and you receive competitive tokens. Um, you trade your way into the um, leaderboard of um, betting yes or no on certain markets and you get a share of the prize pool. If you don't make it, if you if you lose your bet, it doesn't matter because no stress, you get at the end of the competition, you get all your USDC back no matter how you perform. So it's literally no loss um, lotteries. And when we say no loss, they really mean it. How does this actually work? Let's have a look. All right, so they've got their documentations online. Let's have a read of what it says. To enter the no loss, you need to stake USDC and you receive competi competitions game tokens. These competition game tokens have no monetary value. Remember, you've already staked your USDC where does that actually go? That USDC is stored in Solana on a lending pool called Port Finance and everyone should be familiar with Port already. So by the, t by the end of it, by the end of the competition, your um, uh, staked USDC is already on Port Finance. You'll be able to get all your staked USDC back. But if, you're, uh, if you lose all your competitions, you get it all back. If you win it, every, you get a portion of the, of the competition fees from everyone else's interest from that Port Finance uh, USDC if that makes sense. I'll link it all this below so that you can uh, have a read of it yourself. All right, let's go ahead and show you a tutorial on how to actually use some of these markets. So you just go to the no loss competition site. Um, let's go down to the $100 markets, not $1,000 markets, you know, play your bet safe. So this is the markets between September 22 and October 15. Click on that. And then we'll see what the most recent competition events are. So you can um, bet Oh, these people have really high ROI. It might be likely that you can look at them on the blockchain and see what um, what kind of bets they're making to try and copy them. You can see there's a Solana monkey business price floor. There's a solo market. So that means there's one um, bet that you can make. There's a bearish price target and you can see the volumes for these, you know, two or 209,000 um, game tokens that you can go through. Let's look at the three markets in the bearish price target. We'll go in there. So it's either a yes or no, and you can uh, bet how much you want to put on there. So let's say, will the price of Solana trade at or below 125 USDC on October 4th? If you think Solana will trade below 125 um, before, if you trade, if you think Solana will trade at or below 125 on October 4th, then you can put a yes or a no. So right now, 24%, uh, you have a likelihood of uh, 20, uh, people are trying to bet 76% that yes, it will be at or below 125. If you put, you can put 10 game tokens, 100 game tokens, and it uh, gives you your expected payout. So if you're contrary to the entire um, ecosystem, if you have information that you've, you feel is alpha, 
you might be able to put in 100, 100 game tokens in the yes category and you'll have a really higher payout because every, the majority of people think it's a no. If you think it's a yes, you'll get a times four payout. If it's a no, you get 1.13 payout. Does that make sense? So for this as an example, I'm going to say, will the price of Solana trade at or below 125? I am going to say it uh, will not trade below uh, 125. So I'm going to put 100 game tokens. If this eventuates, you will be able to claim your position plus the expected payout. I'm gonna open my position. So it's going to give you the, the statistics, what you're getting and what you're gonna win if this actually um, turns out to be true. Let's open this position. Let's sign the attract, uh, transaction. Ew, wonder why. Confirmed, okay. Now let's go to my positions. And that's the position there. It's open and the outcome is to be announced when we reach October 4th. So go ahead and play around with this and experiment. Remember, it's no loss. So you can bet to your heart's content without having to lose any money. Remember, you have to stake USDC first. And the, the trade-off is that you won't be earning any interest on your USDC unless you start winning. All right, in episode one, we covered the party parrot and the PRT tokens and how you might be able to stake them soon. It's now live. So PRT uh, dash pi uh, staking is out and it gives you PRT rewards. The current APY is 11.78%. This is how you can mint your own PRT tokens by staking pi. If you have PRT, you go to the market, put in PRT. Let's connect my wallet here. Okay, I have 1000 PRT. Let's go ahead and stake 500 PRT. Now it is heavily collateralized. So if you want, you can mint pi. I suggest leave it. Do not mint pi because you won't be able to get much. 0 0.43 pi. The debt ceiling will be raised later on, but for now, do not mint pi and just deposit your PRT to earn some more PRT. If you already have this token, might as well earn more of this token for no cost at all. Okay. 500 uh, P P PRT, let's go ahead and mint that. And let's approve. And now that PRT will be going to accrue rewards. Let's have a look at some of the rewards that will be accruing and why you should be um, uh, staking your PRT. So what are the use cases for PRT? The PIP liquidity pool, um, it allows direct resumption of all the synthetic parrot offers. Um, it gives you uh, exchange pool. It's all the um, shared PRT collateral pool providing zero slippage conversion between all the synthetics on parrot and the liquidation pool. It's a trustless permissionless pool of capital that any bot operator can leverage to liquidate vaults, which is pretty useful in Solana because everyone can really easily yield farm, uh, leverage yield and you need to be able to liquidate those positions quickly, okay? So that's PRT, let's move on to our next topic. All right, so we're gonna be talking about the Orca staking, which is now live. They uh, did their Orca full season with all the new pools, which have been very lucrative if you were listening, and now we have staking in Orca. Now, this a uh, couple of things we're gonna talk about. First off is the actual staking, which is currently giving you a 77% APY. And remember, this is from the 29th until uh, the 10th, uh, the 13th of October, which is only uh, two more weeks away. In the meantime, you can actually stake any of these NFTs that you got from Orca, such as the guppy, the whale, the killer whale, starfish, and you could buy these NFTs online. You can buy them on any decks, probably Aldrin. So to keep in mind, they are actually a few guppies out there that are still on the market. And so there's a pool for all the guppies to be inside. The pool is 52K Orca. If you have one guppy, you're, you will get one of that share of how much is actually in the pool of everyone in the guppy pool, if that makes sense. Um, you can stake your Orca here, but, but, is it better to go over to Soul Farm and lend your Orca for 108%? So Orc, um, Orca is currently staking at 77%. You can go to Soul Farm and lend it for 108% for everyone else who is leveraged yield farming. Or second but, you can go to Frankium and, and uh, lend that for 118%. Now remember, these rates will not last because as soon as the Orca Fall Festival finishes and the double rewards have been uh, diminished, these uh, lending rates will go down very heavily. So if you're in any, lev any leveraged yield positions, you should probably consider them very closely, okay? You gotta keep on top of it. All right, 
let's go on to the next topic. We'll be talking about the Selenium IDOs. Now, these Selenium IDOs have uh, caught everyone by surprise. You can look at some of the historical ones, such as Port Finance, Cropa, Cyclos. Port has done a 38x since IDO on Selenium. Cropa 29x, Cyclos 19x. Um, they have one that's a few more that's coming up now. Waggle Network, uh, which we don't know what kind of X that will do. And we have DeFi Land, which everyone is actually aware of in Solana. If you're in Solana, you've definitely heard of DeFi Land. So it's very likely that that token will be doing quite well. If um, if you want to get on it, make sure you whitelist. Waggle has one more day until whitelist. And for DeFi Land, it's 11 days until the whitelisting actually starts. Now, remember, you have to have some Selenium tokens to actually be able to be allocated a lottery ticket to win uh, one of these uh, uh, IDOs. So the next thing is we're going to be talking about the um, actual Waggle network and so we'll let's find out about Waggle. So this is the Waggle website. They seem to be um, a uh, primary market investment uh, while also providing teams additional liquidity for their innovations. We can launch the app but it's actually not live at the moment. So let's go down and look at some of the tiers. So for a hundred WAG you get a max allocation of two hundred dollars. This seems to be like a tiered approach to IDO listings um, and for 10,000 WAG you get a max allocation of $20,000. We don't know how much this WAGs are but let's see how much you will get. So the token price currently at uh, IDO in whitelist closing is 0.25 USDC and it's going to be giving 600,000 WAG. So let's have a look and see if we can work out how much how many people will actually be a uh, queen bee. 600,000 WAG divided by uh, 10,000. So there might be 60 people that might be queen bees. This is just some simple math, guys. All right, what actually can they offer you? In Q2 of 2021, they're gonna develop a marketplace, a dashboard and a waggle portal and also a DAO infrastructure. Good luck with that, guys. DAOs are still hard uh, and no one in Solana has been able to really tackle that yet. In Q3, they're going to do Binance Smart Chain. So this should be multi-platform, multi-chain, Ethereum and Solana. Fundraising, token launching and this thing. And I won't go on after that because uh, everything might change from then on. We'll move on to the next topic. The institutions are coming to Solana. It's going to happen. You have no idea about this. So there's two protocols, which are, which are the Mercurial Finance and Solrise DEX. So Solrise is a... Um, kind of uh, uh, tra trading and copy trading and uh, index pools and uh, kind of trading where you can follow other people, similar to the eToro setup. We'll talk about Mercurial first. So they say they're going to generate secure guaranteed long-term income, uh, long-term yield, not income, sorry, for users who prefer more robust. Um, so they're going to be allowing institutional uh, market making vaults with credit lending. So this is huge. This is a very large market in the actual uh, world at the moment. So uh, watch out for this. All right, this is the big one that I'm actually looking forward to, which is Solrise Dex Pro. This is going to be huge, guys. So what's Solrise Dex Pro? It is a permissioned Dex. You'll have to KYC using civic technologies to be able to actually trade on here. Think about every popular known trader in the world and being able to trade their tokens or trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, on Solana with basically no fees. Uh, you're gonna have to KYC to do this. So this might um, separate the herd a little bit from the uh, actual institutional buyers and institutional traders uh, to, to uh, from all the actual DGENs in, in, in crypto at the moment. So the main set, do not be worried guys, the main set of Solrise products will remain permissionless and available to everyone. You will only participate on the permissioned decks to trade and uh, copy someone if you have KYC. Uh, and now the other thing that I want to really mention is that um, the best thing about this, all the fees generated on Solrise Dex Pro will be used to market by SLRS. So this is super bullish for this token. All these uh, um, traditional and uh, institutional professional traders will be able to um, earn Solrise and also be able to buy back from the market, which is crazy for me. Now this isn't a lot of alpha because they already have 15,000 followers, but we're going to look at Hawk Site, which is a decentralized AI trading and yield farming for crypto, NFTs and DeFi built on Solana, empowering investors in 36 plus countries. Now they're trying to take every single box. Let's see if they can actually do it. We'll go to their website, which doesn't seem to load at the moment. Uh, so that's uh, slightly concerning. Uh, the few things that we can look at is they want to do, uh, they're giving us a sneak peek of their actual uh, website, which we can see. You can join our website list which is going to come later um, they're going to give you um, 
you can instantly invest in profit optimized strategies. So think of this as a year in finance uh, thing where they take your token and put it to the best working protocol for you. So you don't have to continuously do that. Um, it's going to be non-custodial. It's going to be low fees, enter, exit anytime. Um, and they have a few um, partners as well. So they, and of course, Solana, Serum, Radium, Synthetify. So this is very interesting. I, I think these guys are derivative uh, uh, at play and they might be working off Synthetify. All right, we'll move on to our next topic. The Drift Protocol uh, DevNet is live. Go ahead and join and try and uh, trade on Drift Protocol. Remember, usually some of these times when you try these uh, DevNet and TestNet uh, protocols, you might be eligible for a reward later on. Let's see if we can get in ourselves. All right, we got into the uh, Drift Protocol. It uses DevNet tokens at the moment. So remember, this is not actual SOL. This is your DevNet SOL. You can deposit USDC. Let's try and see how that works. Let's uh, request $10,000. Let's approve the transaction. Three, two, one. And there should be a transaction in here already. There should be some $10,000. You can open a long or short position um, on either SOL, BTC, ETH, or COPE, which is very interesting. They've got a lot of offers. Uh, and you can, how much leverage would you like to go? They offer up to 10x leverage, which is pretty good nowadays uh, as a uh, per permissionless uh, DEX that you can use. Uh, okay. They've got a few other things on the right hand side as well recent trades other people on devnet trying this out so just feel free get in here play around remember this is fake money for now this is devnet tokens you might get a reward out of this so go ahead get into it you know just use a fake account if you want use your crappy uh, solana phantom wallet that you use that could get rugged anytime and just just go ahead try it out do it all right guys that's it for now let's have a look at some nft news and see what's happening around uh, the nft ecosystem in solana solana monkey business is firmly staying first but their price floor has shot up to 245 sol. Someone has bought most of them up. Holy crap. 245 sol. That's crazy. DGEN Apes is still uh, going strong in second. And we have a new competitor for third, replacing Aurori, the Galactic Gecko Space Garage. The floor price is currently 30 sol. You can get all these uh, in the uh, NFT marketplaces such as Solana Art if you want. So a few other ones, the new ones, the Infinity Labs that we covered yesterday. The floor price is currently 4 sol. We've the generated uh, environmental pictures. Piggy Solgans, Soul Punks, everything's still going strong with the current TVL of NFTs at 600 million. Let's have a look at what FTX just hinted they might be uh, listing very soon. All right, so FTX uh, on Twitter just tweeted this out not long ago, the um, a picture with uh, a little silhouette of what looks to be a DGen ape, what looks to be an Aurori, a Thugbirds, and a Solana Soul Monkey business. And then they added the Galactic Geckos. And if you can see these outlines, they look exactly like what they look like here. Solana Monkey business, DGen apes, Galactic Echoes, Aurori, Thugbird. So they seem to be targeting the top five, probably with the most trading volume. It's likely they might uh, trade some Sol Sol Solarians or maybe some Soul Punks later on. Let's find out, yeah? So that's it for now, guys. I'm gonna leave you there. Remember, if you have some leverage uh, farming in Orca USDC on Soul Farm, you better be careful, okay? This is really dangerous territory. Make sure you keep on top of it. Uh, if you like the content, like and subscribe for me. I'm going to be doing these very often. So thank you very much. I'll see you later. Ciao.